The book of Proverbs, verse 8, chapter 8, verse 5. O ye simple, understand wisdom, and ye fools, be ye of an understanding heart. Heart means mind. In order to understand, you must first read. Proverbs 14, verse 18. The simple inherit folly, but the prudent are crowned with knowledge. Proverbs 14, 15. The simple believeth every word, but the prudent man looketh well to his going. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 22. How long, ye simple ones, will you love simplicity, and the scorners delight in their scorning, and the fools hate knowledge? Proverbs 9 and 4, whoso is simple, let him turn in hither, as for him that wanteth understanding. She said to him, Come, eat of my bread, drink of the wine which I have mingled. Forsake the foolish, and live, and go in the way of understanding. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai. Bahashem, Rekahakwadash, double honor to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone who rule well, who teach this gospel and push this gospel to the four corners of the earth, risking their lives and freedoms to do so, especially in these here times we live in here in 2023. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect that are scattered abroad. Building the Tabernacle of David, City of the Beloved. The carpenters are referred to them as because they are building that tabernacle. Tabernacle means tent of praise. David, Dawada in ancient Hebrew, means City of the Beloved. Shalom. Now, the inspiration for this video comes to me on behalf of a, a, an occurrence that happened at my home yesterday. Uh, before I headed to work, my mother had received a uh, notification from either, um, I don't know where she received the notification was, but it was online. And she said she came to me when I came in the house, cleaning up the yard, getting ready to start getting dressed for work. My mom said, hey, eight. <laughs> he said, hey, 80. And the nickname, 80. He said, hey, 80. Um, she said, I see a story online, and they say Frankie Beverly had died. I said, Ma, I said, um, I said, well, I know Frankie Beverly was having some illnesses, but um, I didn't hear anything about that. My my mind is on the scriptures. My mind is meditating on the word. My mind is on prophecy. My mind is on great millstone. My mind is on the apostles. And my mind is on trying to get something done around this house and this yard before the rain come or before I got to head to work. So my that's that's my day. My day, that's my day every day. Yeah, that's my day. <laughs> you know, some people like to say, Oh, I'll do that tomorrow. Well, tomorrow's not promised. And what you need to say is, if the Lord wills it, we would do this, do that. That's found in James chapter 4, verse 15. You don't know what tomorrow might bring. Tomorrow ain't come yet. See? And it might not come for you. Okay, so to speak like that is blasphemy. That's the only unpardonable sin because there are only two that know what tomorrow gonna bring. And that's our Father sitting on the throne and our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah, sitting to his right-hand side. You ain't none of them. So let's speak correctly. The Lord tells us in Ephesians 4.29, let no corrupt communication proceed out of thy mouth. That's corrupt thinking. First Corinthians 14.4, let all things be done decently and in order. Now, so I said, I said, Mom, I, don't, I said, I know you've been sick. That's why they haven't been on tour as a group as much as they normally would. And then sometimes they just can't get there, can't book the venue because somebody else pile up over there. You know, some some other comedian or something that, you know, on tour, you know, Las Vegas Kings Casinos where they make a little extra money 
after they've retired from producing records. They continue to sing their songs. I'm sure y'all know when, when oh, it, uh, some uh, 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 civic center in your town, oh, child, I heard on on on, on October the 15th, Frankie Beverly coming, uh, Tim Teason's coming, uh, 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 Earthman and Fire. Yeah, how much the tickets? $42. I'm going to get mine now. Okay, y'all understand. Now, let's continue. So I said I knew even a little sick, but it wasn't nothing detrimental. So I asked her, I, I said, I said, well, go into your iPad, which she had open. That's what we saw the 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 the, the, uh, the news article on. That's where she saw it and read it on her iPad. So she said, um, I said, um, she we we t- I typed it in and brought it up and I scrolled down three or four inquiries. And that's where the answer was. And that's why I'm doing this video. Okay, um, I don't have any scriptures prepared. I just went, uh, a guy at work, a guy that comes to my job, he has a pear tree, Bartlett pear. That's the pears that are soft pears. And he has a tree, and he done bought me two or three bags already. And the first bag, my one of my managers, she running over there, hey, what you got? I said, well, this guy here, um, he uh, he bought me some pears because again, um, I juice. I I'm a, I have a juicer. I have more gums in the back of my mouth than teeth, so I, I can't eat them hard ass pears. But goddamn it, I can drink them. So the way I look at it, so I gave her some, and then another manager came in yesterday. I gave her some because he brought me about fifteen pears in a bag, and I juice. And I wasn't planning on juicing because I just juiced the other night. Two bottles of the lemon ginger blast recipe I got from Elder Apostle Bar, daily edification, daily exhortation. The number four is his channel. Okay, now that's his YouTube handle. So I uh, I had some pears he brought me the other day. I cut them up in a bag and and cut off all the dead spots, all the you know rotten spots and stuff. And the ones that are really gone, they went into my garden. Now. So now, so uh, for compost. So now, I already shared some out. So I just went to my aunt house, which stays behind me, uh, up a little dirt road. And uh, I just went ahead and, and gave her three. And I said, people like pears, and they sweet, but damn it. We have a pear tree in our yard. It make a lot of pears this year, but it's hard pears. Them pears are the goddamn rock. They big, though. You have to let them turn like a little yellowish. They turn yellowish. And people used to, in my household, used to put them in the microwave about a damn minute, make them softer. They still be hard, but you can work with them then. Your teeth ain't won't break off trying to eat them. And we know that pears are high in fiber, so people who have a problem going to the bathroom and keeping themselves regular, well, you eat them. You better have a plunger, because you could be at the bathroom now. But so anyway, I take the juice and the pear juice, and I put a few other fruits in, and I juice all that when I redo the lemon ginger blast um, juice. And I just drink, like every day, I just drink like maybe six ounces, um, you know, whatnot. So I drink the six ounces, and, you know, and it keeps me regular. But, and also vitamins and, and nutrition and minerals as well. Now, so, um, but anyway, I was up to her house and I was doing some odds and ends and I took them some pears up there and made them laugh a pretty good bit. Mom almost fell out the damn chair laughing. And she, she said, she said, you should have been a damn comedian. No, a good comedian talks about life. Don't make up no jokes. Don't make shit up. It's not going to jail right with your audience. Talk about everyday stuff that everybody have. And a good laugh, in my opinion, soothes the soul. You know, it takes the pressure off of the shit you deal with from day to day. And motivates you to do it one more day. And that's what we need because we know we're in, we're right coming into soon in the jig of trouble and people catching it. I know they is. Um, the Albert Shimon Besides equipped me with the necessary components to deal with it better than the average, okay? But, I mean, we all, we're going to be tested from time to time. The Lord will know what you're made of. And the Lord will show you where you fail so that you will be, he says, to examine yourself. Well, that'll damn sure will help you examine yourself when something you're supposed to be able to do, you somehow fail. Well, hey, righteous man falls seven times and get back up. 
But how you going to get back up if you don't fall? You got to fall to find out where your weaknesses are. And then you can work on those weaknesses um, proportionately to your growth, your spiritual growth in time. Now, let's get to it because I don't want this to be long. I have to go to work for it at 4. And my breakfast is ready, but I didn't do everything but eat the damn breakfast. I got a woman that I told my mom, turn that back on. <laughs> hey, 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 turn that pot, put on some. By the time I finish this video, I'll be in to eat. So without further ado, let's get going. Now, I've already pulled out a few inquiries through Google about this. Um, I hope if I can't find it, the entire article, because I don't know what I typed in or how I typed in into her iPad to bring up the story the way I like for it to come up. So we're just going to go with the flow. Now, I chose these scriptures that I went over as introductory precepts because the Lord commands us to read and study to show ourselves approved in 2 Timothy 2.15. And this story about Frankie Beverly dying is you're going to see if I can find it. Let's pull it up. <clears throat> okay.
the building, all his achievements, all his accomplishments, and I'm looking for the damn cat. And hell, I read all day long. I get tired of reading all that shit. So all of us are guilty of it, okay, because I just mentioned that that statement. All of us are guilty of it. Sometimes we just don't have a lot of time to be hanky panky around on a damn five-page article. You know, we just don't have to, our time don't work like that. But you got to, before you report on something to anyone, read it and know what you Know what you're speaking on. Because uh, Lord said, go up like getting, get knowledge and get understanding now. And there's a man, Lord, I tell you this man here. Man uh, just went up uh, the beat, uh, up past my house, up the dirt road, some houses just stay behind me. And I bet he's going to stop and ask me in a minute, well, look at where's so and so and so at? So let me just go on up the road and help him right now. Because when I get into the better part of my video, my scriptures, then he he come with his crap. So, you know, see if he lost. Give me a second. But that's what we got to do. We got to read to show our speed and search, show ourselves approved. A lot of people don't do that. Uh, hold on for a second here. Slap you. I think he's going to say something to me. All right, how you doing? Which one the house Lord Brown live in? That one back there. That big one back there you was at. What we got turn around? Yeah. What you gonna do is um go back up there, back up, back into the picnic ground field and go back up. Go back up when you get to that green paper box you turn around there. Yeah. It's a little road that it's a little road that bears off and go in the yard. Down there. She stayed right now, right there behind it's my so aunt. Long, so long since I've been down. Ain't nothing changed. Ain't nothing changed. Huh? Ain't nothing changing. Ain't nothing changing. More dead armadillo run across the road, but yeah, I, that's normal. I, I see a lot of them dead. That, that's and normal. I went up by Hand Seattle Church, uh -huh. and I was coming back down that yeah, part yeah, of the yeah, bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was one coming across the road. Well, <laughs> the, the deer was here yeah. before we were here. Yeah. Now, we have to it learn to live season. with the deer, or you just keep paying deductible. What are you going to do? <laughs> one day, you going to total it. Yep, yep. But, um, yeah, but just turn around. You got a hot truck. Yeah. Turn around the field right here right now and get back on the dirt road. And then go when you get where you were turn around at. Okay. As soon as you get that green paper box on the left hand side by that big long leaf pine tree. Yeah, yeah. Just okay. make a left and follow the road on. That's okay. her house. Okay. I don't know if she's home, but that where she living. Okay. Have a good one, man. Okay, all right. All right. Okay. It's a lot for that. I really could have left my phone, but it was in my hand and I was focused on this on the story, so it is what it is. But anyway. Man, didn't I tell you? Must have been, I told him to turn around the field. He's going back to the highway. This man had old people out there. It's ridiculous. <laughs> but anyway, now, as you can see here, um, he got it. He got it. He's doing a lot of extra, but the way he going, the way he doing it, it'll get it done. But anyway, now, let's continue on. I don't want this to be a long lesson at all. Um, again, sorry for the distractions. A lot of older people coming home, or home from up north where they retired at, they moved back home, whatnot. I, 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 somebody come to see um, Loris. He said it's been a long time since he's been down here. And he went up there and he turned around and he come back, so I sent him back up there. I'm doing a video, so I'm trying to get it done. All right, but now, sorry about the interruption. People need help sometimes. And that's what we do. The Lord put the spirit on us to help them. Now, but the Lord also put the spirit on you to know also if you need not be in that area, then get the hell on through for something before you get got. Now, um, again, as you can see, this is a long, drawn-out article. All of them are like this. But, um, yeah, I'm trying to find. I want to take time. I'm trying to find. Look at this. Who in the hell type of this hell? Look, look, I'm going to keep, look, look, look. You know, the only book that I will read like this is the Bible, because that's my ticket to salvation if I'm the hope of life. I ain't trying to read all this crap, and now I ain't talking about somebody else. So, Probably the same way. If it is, we'll move on and grab a few scriptures. Okay, now. 
All right, here it is. We have gotten a ton of messages and emails about one of our all-time most gifted soul singer, Frankie Beverly of Maze. And he's been in the hospital due to an illness and or cancer. I love old school music. I love old school music. Reached out to a family member who has sent us a message that was posted by Frankie Beverly's son and to Frankie Beverly's website. Here's a message that Frankie Beverly person wrote on his website. The rumors were started because Frankie Beverly mentioned that it was his cat of 22 years being sick with bladder cancer, and it must have been misconstrued. It wasn't misconstrued. People fail to read. When people read something, they see the person's name, they see the cat, they see bladder cancer, died. Bam! They don't really read the article. They don't read. Now they go out and post it on Facebook. Rest in peace, Ben Frankie Belly. We can miss you. You gave us good time, joy, and oh yeah, baby. Oh, I had my. I was talking to that big tall fella. What? But they don't read, and that's why people now can't understand the Bible. Even when the children of Israel were in Israel. Instead, this man he getting on my damn nerves. He's loud as shit. Lord, I, give me a second. I'm going to walk out off my Wi-Fi out in the yard and pick up the signal. Because he talks so goddamn loud, I can't hear my video. That's, now, that's the backdrop to helping people sometimes. You help them, and damn it, they come back and get you all tied up in a bunch of mess. Now, hopefully, I, you can hear me. Again, Salaki, I moved out from... Just talking to my dad. I think you know my dad or some shit. I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> pain in there. All right, but that's all people. We got to work with them as best we can. So as you can see here, the rumors will start because, okay, I already read that. Frankie Beverly is well and fine and he's making his way to our hometown of New Orleans to perform this Sunday, G. So, and there's more to it. But um, you've already seen three search increases.
Jesus. First of all, let's get Luke 4 and 4. This is a commandment. John 14, 15. If you love me, keep my commandments. We are here to rehearse the righteous acts of the law pursuant to Judges chapter 5, verse 11. Read that scripture. It's going to say the same thing. Now, I can go over it with you. Um, Luke 4. Uh, left hand side of the screen, Yahweh Shai answered and saying, It is written, it was already written in the law, already in the Old Testament, that man should not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. So, how, if you, how are you gonna know what the Lord is saying and what the Lord has done and things of that Israel has went through and why they went through it if you don't read it? 2 Timothy 2.15. Let's go. 2.15. I hear thunder. They gone. Study to show. The word shoe there means make known. A point. Cause to know. So how does that happen? The Lord says, you draw nigh to me, I'll draw nigh to you. So if you're seeking me, oh, come on, walk get off me. Damn, what the hell going on? If you are looking to buy a new car, okay, or a used car, something you can afford to get you around and get you to work, because your car just doesn't hit it. <laughs> begging for salvage, for salvage. You begging for salvation, the car begging for salvage, y'all. Please retire me, please, please. Okay, now, you're going to go out and you're going to search out those things. You're going to read up. You're going to go online and you're going to read every damn thing there is to know about their damn finance and how much to put down. Oh, you read all that damn small finance print. So if it's something you want or desire, you will search it out. You will read up on it. Hell, you on the phone calling and shit. Yeah, look at him. I got 1200 down. My credit ain't all that. <laughs> yeah, I need me a new guy. <laughs> so why is it that we will look and read and study? And study up on that thing and research things that we want, but not something that we need. We, 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 we got to get better. We, we got to learn from our mistakes. You can't keep making the same damn mistakes. Because by technically, technically, if you are doing something the same way over and over and over and over and you're getting the same result and you're expecting a different result, that is the simplified definition of the word insanity. And the, and the Lord made us with a sound mind to make sound decisions. But you doing something stupid over there. I call it, I refer to that as being stuck, stuck on stupid and stuck on stupid in second gear. You ain't, go, you, you move, you'll make progress on the highway, but goddamn, we're using fifth gear, five speed transmission, manual transmission or automatic. You'll get there a lot faster and you'll lose, use less gas. So that will be economically sound. Now, let's continue on. Now, let's get Revelation 1 and 3. The scriptures are coming to me right now, so I'm putting them in. Okay. Oh, no. Let's go back. Let's go back. I didn't read that scripture. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. And we must rightly divide the word of truth because some things... Like John 44, you are of your father the devil, you shall do the lust from there also. He was a murderer from the beginning. He's always been against the truth, because there's no truth in him. Rightly divide the word of truth, you are of your father the devil. Well, guess what? That's to Israel, the two-thirds of the house of Israel that scripture applies to. And I say that because we know that in Isaiah chapter 14, Lucifer, which means false light bearer, is a man. It states, the scripture states he's a man, so that's a nation of people. That is our enemies, Esashua, Edamas, Edama, Edama, Edama. Okay, you ought to be able to read two lines on that. Okay, now, so their father is the devil too, but that's not speaking to that. We must be able to write it by the word of truth. Some scriptures, uh, Lamentations 5.11 talks about the women being ravished. That already happened. 
But Isaiah 13, 16 also speaks of women being ravished, you know, and taken advantage of by a bunch of men in a dark alley. Let your mind ponder. You ought to be to get that one. Okay. All right. That's to come. That has not happened yet. Okay. So we'll rightly divide the word of truth. You got to be to do that. That's the only way you're going to understand the context of the house of Israel from the beginning up until now, up until where we're going to in the future in the kingdom on earth. Now, let's get Revelation 1 and 3. Um, this video is at its end, believe it or not. Um, I, the, those scriptures, now, those scriptures I had in the beginning, the simple believe every word, the simple ones believe everything they tell you. They're not going to research nothing. They're not going to look nothing up. They'll look up, they'll be on Instagram all day long and Periscope and Snapchat and all the other shit that don't mean nothing to you. It's a bunch of hearsay. It's out of order. It's nothing but lies being told on that platform that you are digesting in your spirit. Then you run off and tell somebody that shit you saw. You have no way to back it up. You wasn't there holding the light when it was going down. And if you was holding there holding the light while it was going down, you are accessory to the ground. Okay, so, or whatever happened, you are unsuspecting because you knew about it and you didn't tell no damn about it. So it was almost like you was supporting it. Oh, yeah, I got the light. Go ahead on. I commission it. I approve this activity. Yeah, with well, the angel of the Lord, St. Chronicles 69, see your thought, see what you see, see you over there holding the damn light on the crime. Believe me, when your dear Lord come, you're going to have a whole bunch of damn problems because the angel's going to regurgitate all of that back up. On the witness thing, and you gonna have to deal with the judge, but you ain't never read, you ain't never repent. God damn, I don't know what you, you gonna get. God, God. Okay, now this God on the floor might drop out on me. I might go straight to hell. Hell, I mean, we already on hell. But since you don't even understand that, I knew you lost and very confused. Yo, you confused, you confused. But if you read and study. Things will get a little bit more clear to you. First Thessalonians 5 17 says, Pray without ceasing. So if you pray like how I told you, I, I, I want a deep understanding. I prayed every hour, you no, know, every three hours. And I on my phone, my dad phone, yeah, I had a phone, you know, cheap phone. <laughs> cheap ass phone. I set up my alarm every three hours. So I'm in the three hours up and I go into prayer. Wherever I'm at, out the door, sitting on the cathedral, sitting in my hot ass car. At the time, I was smoking cigarettes, trying to get damn with the hell of my life. Shit, I know I got some messages somewhere in this car. <laughs> and they went, damn. <laughs> I went to left down in the rain the night before. So anyway, but we need to read and understand. Let's get another, let's get one and three. It's probably about two more scriptures and then we'll close out. Blessed he that reads and they that hear the words of this prophecy. And keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. Right side. God blesses the one who reads the words of this prophecy to the church. The church is the house of Israel, the congregation, the assembly, the garden. And he blesses all who listen to his message and obey what he says, for the time is near. Bam, I just said that. Call Laylam La Yahweh Shim Shabi Shim Kakudas. Now, Let's go, uh oh, one more. Um, get this one here. Shit. Hold on, give me a second. Catch me in the blue Bible. Proverbs four and seven. What did you do? I'm doing a video. I'm recording it right now on this phone, right now. And now I'm gonna upload it to my channel. I uploaded this video yesterday and the Lord brought this this video right back to my head not too long ago. I said, Let me get this video done. Alright. Proverbs four and seven. 
Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all thy getting, get understanding. Verse 8. Exalt her, and she shall promote thee. She shall bring thee to honor when you do embrace her. She shall give to thine head an ornament of grace, a crown of glory shall she deliver to thee. Hear, O my son, and receive my sayings, and the years of thy life shall be many. That needs no explanation. So John 14, 15 says, if you love me, keep my commandments. So the better, the best way to show the Lord that you trust and believe in his word is to read, do what he say, and do it. All he says, he says, all things, there's nothing that's too hard for thee. Right? Then he continues on and says, my commandments are not grievous. Then he says, my yoke is easy, my burden is light. If you, the Christians used to say, if you take one step, the Lord will take two. I haven't found that in scripture yet, but I understand what they're saying. The Lord says, if you draw nigh to me, I will draw nigh to you. Period. Let's get one more scripture. The prudent man. Now let's go over that because I want to study that for you. Proverbs 4, Proverbs, Proverbs 14, verse 15, I believe. And then we're going to close out, okay? Uh-uh, I run. Um, <laughs> give me a second. Uh, Proverbs 14, verse 15. The simple believes every word, but the prudent man looketh well to his coin. A wise man feareth and departeth from evil, but the fool rages and is confident. Yeah, well, don't the people of the Lord get them? Oh, he gets them. Now, the Bible says he, the Lord chastises those that he loves. So if we have, if you are an individual who are aware of the truth, have heard the prophet speaking, you know what we're saying is correct, but you want to continue on in your folly. All right, the Lord may not consume you, may not. He may just rough your ass up a little bit. God damn, that damn truck come by. I, that man come all the way over like he was reaching on the floor. And I was standing on yelling like right across the street, and that damn truck went by me so goddamn close. I, I, I broke a nail on the damn, on, on the rear, on the side mirror. Yeah, well, that's a warning. You waking your ass up to the fact that you know the truth. Continue to seek me in this truth and get your ass together. You know, I mean, now, like Elder Manat Zotbar, great millstone cycle around in 08, stated one time, long time ago, some people are being awakened to the knowledge of the truth just to be destroyed because they're not going to repent. They're not going to even attempt to do the right things, the righteous acts of the Lord God. They ain't going to do shit. They'll know. Then you got the napkin there. Suck you. You got the nap napkin knocker. Now, that guy... He know the truth. He know what's going on. What about to go down? He ain't telling nobody. He ain't teaching shit. He telling his friends, and they don't want to hear it. They're rolling a damn butt. But at the same time, all they, you know, doing what guys, jakes do when they hang together in the car. And very seldom, very often, is something good. If they doing something good on a, on a mission to do something good, they're going to have bad speech coming out of their mouth going. So they still need the wrong. But I, I just want to bring those points out. I um, didn't want to do anything long. Sloppy for the interruption of the old OJ coming up the road looking for a lady he used to know in school. And Sloppy for my pops asking me, what you doing? <laughs> well, I'm either making a video or I'm talking to somebody on the phone. One out the two because he was standing about 20 feet away from me. So what do you think I'm doing, Pop? What I do every day? I mean, come on. But anyways, um... I hope this has been edifying if it has come through the honorable and power of the hour of Shimon Shabbat and Shimon Kaddash. Um, let's close out. Um, I want to close out with a simple scripture, but this one just came to me. And the uh, Lord just brought it to me, rather. And uh, Isaiah 57, 15. Now listen to this very, very carefully. For thus said the, the high and lofty one. Notice that one is a capital O, so that's the Lord. Our Father, our Creator. For thus saith the high and lofty one that inhabiteth eternity. Let's start again. For thus saith the high and lofty one, capital O, that inhabiteth eternity, 
whose name is Holy, capital H, set apart, consecrated, hallowed. I dwell in the high and holy place with him, also that is of a contrite and humble spirit, to revive the spirit of the humble and to revive the heart of the contrite one. For I will not contend forever, neither will I always be wroth, for the spirit should fail before me in the souls which I have made. Now watch this. Let's read this in the in the New Living Translation on the right side of your screen. The high and lofty one who lives in eternity, the holy one, says this. I live in the high and holy place with those whose spirits are contrite and humble. I restore the crushed spirit of the humble and revive the courage of those with repentant hearts. Now, the word contrite means brokenhearted. And interestingly, as I have stated on a few other videos in the past on my channel, when I was about, when I was in the sixth grade or seventh grade, I can't remember what had happened, but I was feeling very depressed. I mean, it had nothing to do with home. It had nothing to do with, and I think it had a lot to do with the fact that I helped so many people. Because I used to work in the office, me and this other this other girl. <laughs> I used to work in the office, helping doing scantrons, like people. I will just help out the ladies in the office because it was three ladies in there and one of them went on maternity leave when I was in middle school. And one of them went on, one of them was sick, really, really sick. Like, he had a, something like, something, something close to lupus or something she would, when she gets sick, she would be sick for a while. Like she, she, she'd be out for two or three months. But, you know, she worked for the district. She had a little vacation, sick pay and stuff and whatnot. So there was one lady up there, Miss Johnson. Miss Johnson, had, she had jerk curls in her head, hanging down on She was the sweetest woman ever. And um, somehow I started doing something in the office. I think I was working for my assistant principal, following them down right up, you know, you got right up in class. <laughs> She knew my mom real good, because my mom was a teacher, was a teacher as well. So I started working for her, and then she started asking me, she said, hey, when you get a chance, can you go in the office and help her rain out? She got a lot to do. And I started working in the office. So, you know, people would ask me stuff about, hey, 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 Eddie, hey, when, uh, when they gonna do, um, when they gonna do um, um, the, the testing, the, the practice test for, for some, test or as not we, this is middle school so we weren't old enough yet but I think in the state of South Carolina we have something called the BSAP and the BSAP is basic skills aptitude placement test or something like that it's something like the exit exam all you people who live in the southeast and the southern states y'all take the exit exam to get out of high school you must have that with your 20 hours or 24 hours or 24 credits in order to graduate from high school right Okay, so something along those lines. This is 35 years ago, so I'm trying to recall those facts, those statistics and whatnot. It's not easy, but uh, I, the Lord put the Spirit on me to remember these things. <laughs> I have a pretty good memory. I thank you, y'all, for some shout for my memory. Um, but anyway, um, so, um, so people, but anyway, the gist of what I'm saying is I used to help a lot of people, and the people used to just shit on me. I, they, well, I help them. Everybody come to me about all kind of information all the time. It's like that even to this day. But I study things. When you sleep at night on a Friday night in your bed, hell, I'm up. I put, I'm doing, a, I'm reading. A, the other night, last week, I read a 23-page documentary. And I, what I had meant to do was read a three pages and stop. <laughs> leave that, that folder up on my bar and shit. And I come back to it and I have some more downtown nothing to do and whatnot. But I, it was so interesting to me. I started early in the morning, <coughs> like four o'clock in the morning. And I, and I, and I, and I went to work the day that I was off. I was off to call me in. I kept reading and the next time I knew I was at page 19, I said, dang. So I went and got something to eat. When I started cut a little bit of grass. And then it started like rains were dropping. I came in, I took a shower, and I 
bust out two more pages and shit. The information on the second page was so damn juicy. Good information to know. Hell, I just read the whole thing. So I'm I'm just what I call a knowledge powerhouse, and that is the word of Yahweh by Shepherd Shot as well. So as you can see here, um uh so as you can see here, the Lord deals with those who are willing to sacrifice their lives and their bodies um pursuant to Romans twelve, one and two. And, and do what he commands. And it's not always easy, but we trust in Yahweh Shimon Shah. Let's close out with Proverbs 3 and 5. Um, I, this lesson is a lot longer than it should have been, but I really, I, he brought this to me yesterday because when my mom asked me about it and we looked it up and read the correct true information and it was the cat that was dead and not him, Frankie Beverly, I said, damn, that's a video. Because people won't read and study now. And I, and I wanted to do it yesterday, but some other um, unforeseen circumstances appeared, and I had handled them. And last night when I got home, I was just exhausted. I wasn't tired. I wasn't sleepy. But I, I had some sneakers. I'm buying a lot of sneakers right now. I'm getting some pretty good deals on sneakers. So I say, damn, I want to clean. I have the LeBron Witness 6. They, I call them cotton candy because they're yellow and blue and teal and pink and shit. And they hot sneakers to me. Um, not something I would wear a lot because they're so damn easy to get dirty. Lord, they really are. So I cleaned them up, and by the time I finished with that, um, I, I got one on one of the apostles' videos, and and um, I, I laid down, and it was playing, and I drifted off to sleep just like that. So I thank y'all for some stuff waking up to do this video. I hope this has been edifying. It has come to the honor, glory, and power of Yahweh. By Shem Yom Shai, by Shem Kahakwadash. Double honor to the elders and the apostles, great minister on the well. Peace and salutations to the whole collector of the house of Israel, building the tabernacle of David. Till the next one. Shalom.